there are people who really want to make war and be soldiers and die, fine. Let's do that. But let's not kill any more kids and drop bombs and say this is for God, for Jesus. That's a bunch of shit. In 1977, director Sam Peckinpah, whose reputation for violent films had earned him the nickname Bloody Sam, turned his attention to the subject of war. The result was Cross of Iron, an unflinching look at the brutal German-Russian conflict on the Eastern Front in 1943. Orson Welles himself uh, called it the finest anti-war film he'd ever seen. Cross of Iron is probably the best war movie I've seen that shows the brutal effect of constant warfare on a small group of men. It shows them breaking down. It shows the entire team dynamic falling apart. I think Cross of Iron did a fantastic job of showing just how fatiguing being a soldier can be because you never really sleep, you never really eat, and you're always stressed, and it really takes its toll to the point where you become frazzled and a shell of who you are. Three hours I've been here by myself. I don't ever want to be alone again. I don't ever want to be alone again. You won't. You won't. Cross of Iron is also about class conflict, as James Coburn's cynical, battle-weary Sergeant Steiner locks horns with Maximilian Schell Stransky, an aristocratic, vainglorious captain, desperate to win the Iron Cross to honor his family name. Sergeant, if I go back without the Iron Cross, I couldn't face my family. Personally, sir, I don't feel you deserve the Iron Cross. Peck and Paw sort of saw war not as a war between the Germans and the Allies, but as between the guys who did the fighting and the guys who made the rules. And that's what Cross of Iron's really about. I hate all officers. All the Stranskis, all the three pigs, all the Iron Cross scavengers in the whole German army. The tank battles in this movie are just extraordinary. There's just C-34s coming at them from all angles. And the way that Peck and Power shoots with slow motion and kind of jolty editing, it, it throws you into the maelstrom. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it outside a cross of iron. The action may be electrifying, but the message is clear. War has no winners. It's as bleak as you can possibly get. Its bleakness comes from its pursuit of honesty. I think Peckinpah really wanted to show what it was like to fight. And what it's like to fight is terrible. It is bleak. <laughs>